Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we're going to create a YouTube player pop-up using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. First of all, let me show you a demo. So here we can see we have these three links over here. These are all YouTube links. Now you can add any number of links you want over here. And if I click on any of these links, here we can see we have this YouTube player pop-up displayed over here. And then you can click on this play button to start viewing the YouTube video. And if I click on the second link, we have the second video displayed over here. So in this way, you can create this YouTube pop-up player over here using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now in this first video, I'll show you how to make this design using HTML and CSS. And in the next video, I'll show you how to add the functionality using JavaScript. So let's get started. Right here, I have created this folder called YouTube player pop-up and I just opened it with VS Code. Now let's create our necessary files. So let's click on new file and let's create a file called index.html and we'll also create a CSS file. Let's name it style.css and let's also create a JavaScript file. Let's name it main.js. Let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code, you have the shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. Right, let's link our CSS file over here. So I'll just tap link and press tab and here in the SRF, I'll just tap style.css and let's also link our JavaScript file. So I'll just tap script colon src and press tab. And here I'll just tap main.js. Right, let's start with the markup of our design. The first thing we will do is uh, we'll create these uh, links over here. So for that, let's create a container division and let's give it a class of container. And in that we will have these links and we'll create these links as uh, divisions so that you can add any design over here in place of this text. So let's create a division with the class of YouTube link. And in that we need to have this icon on the left side and we need to have the title of the YouTube video over here on the right. We will get the icons from heroicons.com. Right, so here I'm in heroicons.com and let's search for video. And you have this icon right here. So let's click on copy SVG. And let's go back to our HTML and I'll just create a division with the class of icon. And in this I'll just paste the SVG. And after the icon we need to have the title. So I'll just copy this title from here. And I'll just paste it over here. Right now we need to have three of these links. So I'll just copy this uh, YouTube link division. And I'll just paste it two more times. You can add any number of links you want over here. And for the second one, let's add a different title. So I'll just copy this title from here. And I'll just paste it over here. And then lastly, we have this third title. So I'll just copy this from here. And I'll just paste it over here. Right now for the YouTube player pop-up, let's create another division and uh, let's give it a class of YouTube player overlay. And in that we will have another division with the class of YouTube player pop-up. Now the overlay is basically this uh, dark background color you see over here outside this pop-up. Now for the actual YouTube player, let's create another division and uh, let's give it a class of YouTube player pop-up. Now in this we need to have the YouTube embed URL. So you can get the embed URL from the YouTube website. So let's open this video on YouTube. Right, this is the YouTube video. Now let's get the embed URL. Now you can get the embed URL by clicking on share and clicking on embed. And here you can see we have this code. You can just copy and paste this code into your website. Or you can also right click over here on the video and click on copy embed code. And now let's go back to our HTML. And let's paste the embed code over here. So this is how the embed code looks. It is basically an iframe. Now we don't need to have any height or width. So I'll just cut this from here. We will add the height and the width using CSS. Right now let's go ahead and start styling this. Before that let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So once you install that you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we can see this is how our website looks right now. We have the icon, the title and the YouTube video displayed over here. Right now let's go to our style or CSS file and let's start styling this. First of all, let's style the container division. So here we can see we have this uh, container division with the class of container. So let's tap dot container and we'll set the max width of the container to 700 pixels. And we'll also bring it to the center by typing margin zero and auto. And we'll also add a margin top. So let's tap margin top and uh, let's set it to 30 pixels. 
and now we can see our content is in the center now let's resize this icon so let's type youtube link because here we can see we have this division of the class of youtube link and in that we have this division of the class of icon so let's type youtube link icon and let's set the width of the icon to 20 pixels and let's set the color of the icon to red and uh, let's see how it looks right now so here we can see we have the icon displayed now let's style the youtube link so let's type youtube link and we'll set the font size to 18 pixels and we'll set the font family to roboto and sans serif and uh, let's set the color of the text to dark gray and we'll also add a line height of 1.8 now we need to have this icon on the left and the text on the right so for that let's go ahead and set the display to flex and now we can see that the icon is on the left and the text on the right let's add some gap between these two elements so let's tap gap and let's set it to 16 pixels we'll also add some margin between these uh, links so let's type margin and let's set it to 8 pixels top and bottom and 0 pixels left and right right now we also need to bring this icon to the center vertically so here for the icon let's type display of flex now the icon is in the center now let's see how it looks if we add some more text over here so here for the title let's add some more random text and now we can see that the icon size has changed so for that let's go back to the icon and here we need to add a property called flex shrink and we need to set it to zero now we can see that the size of the icon stays intact now let's also set the cursor to pointer so here for the youtube link let's type cursor pointer and i'll also remove this text we'll also add some hover effect when we hover over these links so here let's type youtube link colon hover and let's add a background color of light gray so let's type background and let's set it to ef 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 and uh, we'll also add some padding so here let's type padding and let's set the padding to 4 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right we'll also add smooth transition so here let's type transition and uh, let's set it to all 400 milliseconds ease right now let's go ahead and style this youtube player so let's go back to the html file and uh, here we have this division with the class of youtube player overlay and by default we will hide this and when we want to display it we will add a class over here so i'll just type active so when we have this active class we will display this overlay and uh, let's go back to our style css file and let's access this youtube player overlay so let's type youtube player overlay now we want this overlay to be stretched across the screen so here we can see the overlay covers the whole screen we have this dark gray color over here so let's go back and let's type position and let's set it to fixed and we need to type inset 0 and now if we add a background color let's type RGBA and let's just type 0 0 0 and 0 0.0 six and now if we go back here we can see we have this dark background color and by default we will hide this so let's type opacity and let's set it to zero and now if you go back here we can see that the overlay is not being displayed but if you try to click on this link we cannot do that that's because the overlay is on top of our links so here by default we need to set the pointer events to none and now we are able to click on these links right now let's go back and uh, let's add the styles for the active class so let's type youtube player overlay dot active and here we need to set the opacity back to one and the pointer events to auto and now we can see that the overlay is being displayed but if you remove the active class from here the overlay is hidden right now let's style this pop-up so here we have this division with the class of YouTube.
player pop up. So let's style that YouTube player pop up. And for this, we'll set the position to fixed. And we want it to be centered over here at the top. And we'll also increase the width. So let's type width and let's set it to 80% of the container. Now we can see that the width is not being applied. So if we add a background color over here, and if we go back to our website, here we can see that the width is added to the container, but it is not added to the iframe, which is inside the container. So let's style the iframe. Let's type YouTube player pop-up iframe. And let's type width and let's set it to 100%. And now we can see it doesn't have the correct aspect ratio. So for that, we need to type aspect ratio. And we need to set it to 16 by 9 which is the aspect ratio of our video. And now we can see we have the correct aspect ratio. Now we need to bring it to the center. So here for the container, let's type left and let's set it to 50%. Now we can see it starts from the 50% mark. So we also need to type transform, translate X and uh, negative 50%. And now we can see it is exactly in the center. Now, if you go back to the original design and if I click on any of these links, we can see that the pop-up is uh, sliding from the top. So by default, we need to set the position of the pop-up to the top of the screen. So here, let's change this to translate. And for the X value, we will set it to minus 50%. And for the Y value, let's set it to minus 100% of the screen. And now let's add the style for the active class. So let's type YouTube player overlay dot active and YouTube player pop up. So when we have the active class for the YouTube player overlay, we need to add these styles to the YouTube player pop up. So we need to set the transform translate to minus 50% and zero. And we'll also add a smooth transition. So I'll just type transition and let's set it to all 400 milliseconds ease. And let's remove this background color from here. Now that's basically it with the design. In the next video, I'll show you how to add the functionality using JavaScript. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.